Good afternoon, beauty professionals. Today, we're gonna to be talking about properties of the hair and scalp. And that's coming out of chapter 11 in your Milady textbook. Now, if you go on the NIC testing website, you will find out what's on your written exam. This particular chapter goes under scientific concepts, which is gonna be 30% of your written exam. So in this chapter, we're gonna be talking about diseases and disorders of the scalp. We're gonna be talking about alopecia. It talks about the structure of the hair, but I already have a video on structure of the hair, so you could watch that video to coincide with this chapter um, because it is the same thing when it's talking about the outer hair strands. So I broke that down already. There's also information about the side bonds in the cortex of the hair. Now that I've already done a podcast on. So you could check that out on Ms. V's Real Beauty Talk. You can find me on Google uh, Anchor. You can find me on the Apple Podcast. But it's a short podcast just telling you why it's important for you to know these different side bonds and what they do for the hair. But that's all included on your written exam, which you'll have two hours for. So today we're gonna to be talking about the structure of the root, which is the buildup of the hair strand from inside of the scalp and the skin. Because remember, wherever there's hair on our bodies, we have hair follicles and roots and all that going on under the skin. So with that being said, I wanna thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for your support. God bless you and let's get started. All right, the first portion of the hair root that we're gonna talk about is the hair follicle, which the hair follicle is a deep pocket, if you will, that pushes down and just think of it this way. It pushes down in the skin without puncturing it. So it's pushing down in the skin all the way down and it encases the hair root, which is where the hair is shooting up out of the hair follicles. We have hair follicles all over our body except on the palms of our hands, thank goodness, and on the soles of our feet, which I am not showing my feet, but just imagine if we had to shave the palms of our hands and the soles of our feet. The next part of the hair root that we're gonna talk about is the hair bulb. Now this is the lower part of the hair root and it says in your text that it's shaped like a club. I have no idea what kind of club it would be. It actually reminds me, don't judge, of a chicken bone. But club it is. It also covers the dermal papilla. Dermal papilla. So if you recall with hair bulb, it's actually covering the dermal papilla, which means that it's inside of the hair bulb. Now this portion of the hair root is where the nerves and blood vessels are that supplies nutrients for hair growth. It's a small elevation that's cone shaped and you'll find it at the base of the hair follicle. So just remember when we talk about alopecia later in the chapter, Usually when you start excessively losing hair, the doctor will draw blood to see what's going on internally because that is what makes the hair grow. Dermal papilla. The erector pili muscle, one of my favorite muscles, and I have felt it contract in my life many times when I've had supernatural encounters, which I've had many of those, and that could be a whole other channel. But you will find the erector pili muscle at the base of the hair follicle, and when it contracts, you will find yourself getting what's called goosebumps, erector pili muscle. Sebaceous glands. Now, I don't know why it did not mention sudoriferous glands as well, but sebaceous glands, another name would be your oil glands. You will find that also at the base of the hair follicle, and it secretes an oil that's called sebum. Now, this actually coats the skin and gives the skin its moisture, but it does also give the hair shine. So if you've ever done scalp treatments before on someone or someone, you have a client that comes in, she hasn't shampooed her hair in a few days, you will notice the hair is extremely oily. 
that is the sebum that was secreted from the sebaceous glands found near the hair follicle at the base. Sebaceous glands. And that's all that I have for you, my beauty people, for today. The next video, we're going to talk about the chemical composition of the hair. So stay with me in this series, Properties of the Hair and Scalp. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.